lifetime. And that potential is infinite. The more I rise to my potential, the more I will vibrate in frequency with you and anyone else who is similarly rising. If I remain in a lower frequency of self-centeredness, in a lower frequency of self-will, and a lower frequency of mere appetite, then I will attract into my life people who are attracting within it, who are attracted to me because their energies are vibrating in a similar way. This will not serve me except that the fact that that relationship is not going to ultimately be pleasurable might teach me something, and the same goes for you. Today, the word is collaboration. Collaboration meaning that none of us, none of us has the whole piece. The Course in Miracles says you can't possibly know the exact way that your talents and your abilities would best fit in to the overall plan. Just like some cells are assigned to the blood, and some cells are assigned to the bones, and some cells are assigned to the heart, and some cells are assigned to the lungs, you and I, the Course in Miracles says, are assigned. Now, if I wake up in the morning and I decide, no, this is what I want to make happen today, then I'm not as open to my assignment. Because my assignment might be with someone who, on, at first glance, I wouldn't know was my next lifetime assignment. Or a situation that I don't realize is a great possible assignment. I know so many times in my life, some of the biggest mistakes I've made have been that remarkable opportunities came my way and I was not present enough for them when they were standing right in front of me. That has to do with people, that has to do with opportunities, it has to do with my personal life, and it has to do with my professional life. Because until you own the, the possibility that life is, 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 is imbued with the indwelling presence of God, whereby all that is miraculous is already emerging, whether you can see it or not, you don't necessarily know enough to know that nothing is more important <clears throat> than your standing fully within any situation, any relationship, any experience, in any moment, and seeking to rise to the occasion. The ego mind never thinks that where you are is enough. The ego mind never thinks that who you're with is enough. The ego mind never thinks that you are enough. And that is why the ego mind is always guiding you to think that you need to do more, be more, find new people or a new place, because maybe that will be enough. Now, the Course in Miracles says that our function on this earth, our mission, is to be miracle workers. And a miracle, the Course says, is a shift in perception from fear to love. So what it means to say, I am here to be a miracle worker, means the Course in Miracles says to surrender your life that in any situation you might be, as the Course of Miracles would call it, the presence of the alternative. The presence of the alternative with a capital A. There is war on this planet, but there is an alternative. There is suffering on this planet, but there is an alternative. There is breakdown on this planet, but there is an alternative. There is all manner of problem on this planet, but there is an alternative. You begin with that, that there is an alternative. That's why the Course in Miracles says, in its first, its first sentence, <clears throat> is there is no order of difficulty in miracles. It, within God, anything can happen. In the Bible, when we read stories about the Red Sea parting, when we read stories about water coming out of a rock, when we read stories about manna from heaven, when we read stories about Jesus healing the sick, when we read stories about raising the dead, when we read the stories of Jesus himself rising from the dead, what are we being told? What is being coded into these stories? What is being coded? What is the divine message being given to us? The divine message being given to us as a human race is don't be so hung up on time and space. It's not what you think it is. When you are in your right mind, the universe as you know it is more flexible than you think. Situations will change. You are not the slave of time and space. Situations will open. Breakthroughs will occur. People will come into your life. Anything that needs to happen will happen when you allow that breakthrough and that change in your own consciousness to occur.
what that means is number one, the first miracle is, this is not just about me. And that's why we're taught in the, in the exercise in the Course in Miracles to wake up every morning and say, where would you have me go? What would you have me do? What would you have me say? And to whom? You prepare yourself in the morning. Just like you take a shower to purify your body, you take a bath to get dirt off your body, you purify your consciousness through prayer, through meditation, to purify your consciousness and get rid of the clutter and the stress. Don't just go directly to the Comey hearings or to the Gorsuch hearings. I'm not saying they're not important, because that's really when they're going to time with some of